Welcome to Vid Society. My name is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a free website that you can use for affiliate marketing from a Google Sites website. So what I'm going to do is go from beginning to end. I'm going to show you the product I'm going to pick out. I'm going to show you how I set the website up and everything in between. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so to get started with Google Sites, you have to go to the website sites.google.com. I will put that link below this video in the description box, along with some other links you might be interested in. In fact, if you would rather build your own WordPress website, I do have a free course for that where I even give out a free WordPress theme that I customized. You can find the links and resources for that below this video as well. Okay, so here we are. When you first log into your website and you go to sites.google.com, you're going to see a page that looks like this here. Now, they do have some templates already set up for you. I never start with a template. I always start with uh, creating a website of my own, which I want to start from scratch so you can see exactly how I do it. And then normally I would just clone or duplicate that site as I make other websites for more affiliate sites or product reviews. A couple things to keep in mind. Google Sites do take a little while to rank. In fact, even with trying different indexing services and sending links and everything to it, it can take a few weeks for it to start uh, showing up in Google and to start ranking. So keep that in mind. These sites are great for building affiliate sites because a Google site is a Google property and Google is not going to punish its own properties. So it's safe to use for affiliate marketing to send your traffic to whether you do it through organic or whether you're sending traffic through it through paid ads or however you're doing it. It's a great way to build a free website where you don't have to worry about spending your own money on hosting or having your own WordPress website to deal with and manage and constantly update. With that said, with a Google website, you can use your own domain name and that's something we'll get into in this video as well. So the first thing you want to do when you get to um, sites.google.com is you want to come up here and you want to click on blank. And this is going to be the default page for your new website. And I'm going to go over some of these settings. This is probably going to be a longer video than what uh, most of my videos are. So I will put timestamps below that will help you to uh, find the place you want to go to specifically in this video. Now, before we create our site, we have to know what we're going to create it about. So for this example, what I've done is I went to Amazon and I've done a quick search for some fitness equipment to find something that I could build a website around and promote. So the product I found was this one here. It's a Marcy Olympic weight bench. And the reason that I picked this product is because one is pretty popular. Uh, it has over 2,400 reviews and obviously most people don't even leave reviews so there's probably been tens of thousands of people who's bought this product it has four and a half out of five stars it's three hundred dollars normally i find something that is more expensive than this uh, but for this example this is what i'm going to use so what i done is i took marcy olympic and i went to a refs and i entered it in the keyword explorer to find out how many people was searching it so for the Marcy Olympic weight bench, it's about 900. Um, for the one that I am going to be promoting here, uh, it's actually not even listed here because I think this is a newer model, which is great because there's not going to be much competition for it. So there's not going to be as many searches for it, but a lot of people are searching for it because if I go to Google and if I type in this exact product name, Marcy Olympic weight bench MD 857, if I click after it, you're going to see down here this long search that people are entering because they're searching for this product. And you can see here it says for full body workout gray black. That's kind of odd. Why would somebody search that for it? Because what they're doing is they're going to Amazon and they're copying this complete title and they're searching for it, which you can see here the full body workout gray and black. So people are searching for this. Google is showing us that right here in proof. So we know that it's a, it's a, po a product that people are searching for. So I'm going to go ahead and do a website around it, even though it doesn't say there's a whole lot of searches for it, because most of the time the search statistics from these are not accurate at all. And what may not be popular today in a few weeks or a few months may be very popular, and I could see my sales increasing at any time. Down here I can see the related searches where other people are searching for other keywords related to this same um, workout bench. So this is what we're going to use. So what we're going to do is I'm going to copy 
this full title and I'm going to go back to my site and I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to right click and click paste as plain text and you can see it put in here. Now what I like about the Google Sites is that you have a lot of control. So for example with this title I can highlight it, I can take down the size let's say to 36, I can expand it and make it wider and then if I wanted to I could bold it I could change uh, to a lot of different fonts it has here but for now I'm just going to leave it as this now up here you can see where it says inner site name we can also add a logo if you have one for it the only thing I'm going to put up here is we're going to call it Marcy Olympic bench just something short now I'm not too crazy about this background so if you hover over it you can see some options down here change image and also header type so header type allows you to change the size of your header image right now it's on banner we could change it to title only or we could do large banner or even a full cover which takes the whole front page which for these is what I like to do something very simple now after that we can come down and change the image click uh, select image and it's going to bring up several options here it has its own gallery of images that we can use if we know the URL for an image we can paste it here or you can use your albums or your Google Drive but what I like to do is use Google's own search because when you do this it says here results shown are labeled for commercial reuse with modification which means we can use these images that Google shows us here so so we're going to be safe with this website so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to type in weight lifting and click search and here we have a lot of different images we can use so I like this first one here I'm gonna go ahead and click it choose select you can see down here it's adjusting for readability so we're gonna give it a second and there it is so this is what our home page is going to look like and this is it so what we're going to do now is we need to start creating inner pages to our website uh, that's all about this weight bench or that's about weight benches so how we do that is we come over here on the right hand side and you can see here insert so on this tab this is where we have all of our options where we can drag different items like text boxes images embeds things from our Google Drive account and even complete layouts that we can drop and drag wherever we want them and it will create this layout for us to use for our pages down here you have options for collapsible text table of contents and some other options as well what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create an inner page. So I'm going to come up here to pages. And you can see where it says home right now. I'm going to go down and hover over the plus sign and click on new page. Now for this page, I'm going to go ahead and call this one. Uh, I'm going to call it the Marcy Olympic MD857 weight bench. If I click on advanced I can choose a custom path here I usually don't do this because what it does is it just takes this name here and uses it as part of your URL so we'll click done okay so now what it done is it created another page for us and then we can go back to our home page you can see what it done was it just took what our home page was and it made this page but it changed the text so for this page I don't want this to be a full background so I can come down to header type change it to banner and it looks like this and then for the text I can click on it highlight it I can change it to say 36 make it bold we can drag this out and I can even put say review and we'll make it a little bit smaller so it all fits on one line okay now you can see since we have done this up here we have a navigation menu and here is our home page we built and here is the page that we're on right now now we're going to stop here just for a minute and what I want to do is show you some other options before we get into designing this more so if you come up here to your settings option and click it you have your navigation so right now you can see my navigation is up here on the top I like to move this to the side so we're going to move that to the side over here so when you click the hamburger menu this is where your menu will now show up now if we come back up here you also see that it has color for transparency uh, white or black 
I'm, I just leave it as the default option for transparent. Brand images, this is where you can add your own logo or favicon if you wanna upload those. You have what you call viewer tools. I don't like leaving these on. You can, basically it shows the last time the page was updated or it shows anchor links, which really makes no sense to me why they have that for. You can add your own custom domain. So you can buy your own domain name through Google. So you can have your own www whatever your site is com and it'll link it to this site and that's what it'll use for your website you also have analytics where you can track it and i'm going to show you how to do this here in a little bit where it just doesn't track it but you can also add it to your google search console and then you have an announcement banner and i thought this was pretty neat so what this does it shows a banner at the top so if i turn this on and say we choose a banner color let's just say orange the announcement is click here for a special deal today and then the button label we can say uh, view now and then we can have it go wherever we want to I'm just going to have it to go to google.com open in a new window and I want it to show up on all pages once I do that just close out and you can see it adds this banner now on top of all the pages uh, with our text and a button which this can be anything this can be an affiliate link uh, it can be a link to another page on your site, a review, or whatever it is. So those are your settings up here. These three dots, if you click it, it'll show you your version history. You can duplicate the entire site. Uh, that's pretty much it for that one. And then if you're ready to publish it, what you want to do is come up here and click Publish. And then it's going to ask you for a web address. So what I like to do is it's going to be, this is the going to be the first part of your website if you're not using your own domain and so what you want to do is add something after that and that is going to be the link that will take you to your home page so what I'm going to do is I like to make something generic for this so I'm just going to say M-A-R-R-E-V stands for I don't know the Marcy Review um, of course this can be whatever you want it to be like I said I don't like to have these words repeating themselves in the domain so I don't want this to say sites.google.com slash views slash Marcy Olympic bench and then slash Marcy Olympic bench review I just don't like that so I'm going to leave this as M-A-R-R-E-V and then you have options here of who can view your site and then you can request that search engines don't find it you don't want to tick that then when you're done you're going to click on publish okay when it's done publishing you can come up here and click on this link button and it's going to give you the link to your home page. So you're going to copy this and you can open it up in a new browser and click paste and go. And so this is your home page. And then if we go over here and click this link, it's going to take us to the page that we just created, which looks like this. And then here's our banner at the top for the view now deal. Okay, let's jump back over here. Now, if you want to change this, you can come up and you can go to settings and change the navigation to the top and then publish it again. And when you publish it, it's going to show you the changes that you made on your site, which is fine. Click publish. And then we can go back here and refresh it. And you'll have to give it just a minute. Give it about usually 30 seconds, 40 seconds or so for it to update. Try it again. And then you can see up here now is the link if you want to have your menu up here. So either way you want to do it. Okay, so now we have our home page done and we want to come over here to the review page. And this is where you're going to write your entire review about this product. So what I like to do is come over here to insert and I'm going to drop uh, maybe this layout here. And then what we can do here is we can add some text. So we can say, uh, what is the Marcy Olympic MD 857 weight bench. And then under there, I have a box here that I can click to edit text. So what I can do is I'm going to go to this page and I'm going to scroll down and see if there's any content here, which there is. There's actually quite a bit, which is great. And so I'm going to copy, say, this part. I'm going to go back, right-click, 
and paste this plain text and kind of straighten it out a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this paragraph and then we're going to make this image a little bit taller so you can drag anything to make it fit perfectly which I really like it has a special grid on it so anything that you click on you'll see these little circles you can drag them to rearrange it however you want to you can see those lines in the background which is really neat and helps you to keep everything lined up now in this box if you click the plus it's going to ask you what do you want to do Do you want to upload an image a video or anything like that you want to select an image you want to upload a YouTube video or embed a YouTube video and that's what I'm going to do so I'm hoping somebody's already made uh, a video on this so I'm going to go to YouTube uh, click here click uh, YouTube and then we can do a video search for the Marcy Olympic and I think it was 857 MD 857 click search and yes there are reviews great so this one's here is five minutes long um, this one here okay this one here's the one I want because it has this one here actually has reviews in it which I like that uh, this one's 37 seconds 49 seconds so these are really short just slideshows somewhat somebody made of it I want one that's going to be several minutes long so it's actually a good quality video and it looks like this one here I'm going to click on it select and it insert this in here now you can see there's black above and black below so what I can do is I can move this out and adjust it so where it fills that in just like that and then if I want to I can rearrange how this is I can take this text here I can make it we'll say 24 which is fine and let's bold it and I also want this I am going to highlight this and I'm going to have it to be heading so when it's a heading um, the, the, the difference between these if I click in this box you can see that it says title a title gives it an h1 tag and you only want one of those on your page which I usually have right up here at the top and then these other ones you can have as an heading which is an h2 tag and then a subheading is an h3 tag and so you can properly optimize your site by using those to make them much better so this here looks really good now and what I might want to do down here is add some more content so what I want to do is add another text box so I'm just going to click it it's going to add it down here and then I'm going to go back to Amazon and I'm going to go ahead and copy this text and remember guys um, Google is not going to punish its own sites so you don't have to worry about that so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paste this because even duplicate content like this is going to rank believe it or not uh, we're going to go up here we're going to highlight this text and we'll leave that the right I'm going to change this size though to 12 to make it a little bit bigger so we're going to highlight all of it go to size go to 12 and then this here we're going to change and do a heading and bold it and this one here I'm going to bold it too okay now what I can do is I can come over here and say I want to add a few images I can take this box and add it and then we can go back here and I can add some images that are either right here or what I like to do is take some of these so this image here I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on it so it's full size right click save image as and then I'm going to save that on my computer now when I save this image I want to make sure it's properly optimized so I'm going to give it a name that's related to the product itself so I'm going to click down here file name and I'm going to call it the Marcy Olympic weight bench and then we're going to save it and then I'm going to come over here and maybe find a couple others uh, say two other images I want to use so we'll do we'll do this one here same thing and this one I'm going to call Marcy Olympic weight bench dimensions and then this one's the features so that's good so we're going to right click save image as and then at the end of this I'm just going to say features 
and click enter. So we have three images now, so I can go back, go back to here, and I can upload these images here. So I'm gonna click the plus, upload, and for the main image, I'm gonna choose this one. And then for the two images, I'm gonna choose the other two. Okay, just like that looks really good. Now I'd like to add some more content below this so we can do another text box if we want to. And we'll go back to Amazon and we added that. So I'm just gonna copy this here, go back, right click, paste as plain text. Okay, and then what these are, this is just text it uses for the images. I'm gonna delete that. And then these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna first kind of straighten this up a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make these subtitles here, or subheadings. So we have our main H1 heading here, and we have an H2, here's another H2, and then these here are gonna be H3s. So we're gonna do subheading, bold, same with this one. I'm gonna do that for each one of these. Just like that. Now, what I should have done to begin with though was highlighted all this and changed the size because I want it to be a little bit bigger. We'll just leave it just like that for now. And then if I wanted to, I could make these bigger, say 18. Obviously, the better you make your website look, um, the more reliable or the more legit people are going to think the website is. Okay, and 18. All right. So this here is going to be the features. And so what we can do actually is we can do insert another text box. And I'm going to take this text box here and drag it. We'll just leave it right here. And I'm going to title this the Marcy Olympic. Oh, I can't remember the name of it again. It's the MD857 Weight Bench Features. And then this is going to be a heading, which is H2. Make it bold. And then we have the features here. Okay, so far this is looking really good. So let's see what else we can get from here we can add to it. Uh, there's a lot more content here we could add to it if we wanted to. For now, I think I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. You can also take some of these questions and answers and you can put them on your site to add more content. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is for now. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna come back up to the top and obviously we have to have a way for people to buy this product through our affiliate link. So what I like to do is I'll come over here and pick, click button and you can give it a name, check discounted prices here. And then what I would wanna do is go to Amazon and get my text link for it. I'm gonna copy it, paste it and insert. You can see here, this is the image, the button. I'm gonna drag it, we'll put it right here and leave it like that. Now, you can see how this text is blue, the button's blue. Uh, basically, this is all based up on the theme that you choose, which you can change any time. So you'll notice up here besides insert and pages, there's one for theme, so if you click it, there's different options here. Right now, it's set on one called simple. And if I wanna change the color of some of the stuff, I can just pick a different color. So I can pick this. You can see how it changes it. Or the green, purple, black, or you can choose one color of your own. You can also change the default fonts, what it looks like, but I kinda of like the font. Uh, I probably should make it bigger though. Change this, I'm just gonna make it 12 right now. And I'm gonna go back and keep this color. Now you can choose different styles, like this is Aristotle, so if I choose it, you can see how it's gonna change the header and the collar. We can choose Diplomat, Vision, Level, 
or impression and they all have options for their fonts uh, as well as different colors but I'm just going to keep mine on simple and what I think I'm going to do is take this button so if I click once it, it brings up this whole section if I click on the button it shows me just the outlining the button which is what I want and what I want to do is I want to take it and drag it down so where it stretches um, a little bit bigger so like this here and I'm going to move it to the middle like that now if you want to you can create your own images for this and just upload them uh, create your own button images and then so if it stands you if you want something that stands out a little bit bigger maybe yellow or orange a little bit bigger you can do that too uh, you could also put maybe if you don't want all this content in here what we could do is we could delete this and we could make this text a little bit bigger say 14 and then at the bottom we could say click here to view the best discounts and then I could grab this link I could highlight this click the link button insert it and apply and then that's going to link that to my affiliate link so now we have a text link and we also have a button now I can duplicate this I can come over here and you can see where I can change it you can actually change the background color too so if I click um, say a section background say this here I want this background to be a different color I can click that and it has an option here where it makes it a little bit darker which that looks really good or we could do this which that looks good uh, or you can do an image you can upload or you can add something of your own so what you can do here is if you do select image you can add one of these here if you want or you can add your own background by searching like we did earlier or you can type in a collar let's just say black and search and then we can just choose an image here that's black select it and it, it looks like that and so that looks really good too so I think I'll just leave it this way and maybe I'll highlight this and make the text also 14 and then this here we're going to make it a little bit bigger say 24 then we have our images and then we have our features here so that all looks really good and then with this I can duplicate it and then I can grab it and I can drag it down to the bottom and have another price here okay so this all looks really good we're gonna go ahead and publish it and if we go back to our website and we're going to give it just a minute here make sure it uploads I'm going to click on the home button okay this is our home page and then if we go here to this link this is the review page for a product which looks really good considering how long it took us to make now a couple of things I want to mention on when you try to rank websites especially now uh, and on Google sites because it does take longer anyway what you want to do to help really improve your rankings is to create multiple pages on your website and each one of those pages you want it to target something based around this Marcy Olympic MD 857 weight bench or something about a weight bench and then you want to have those pages linking back to this page here which is what you, you ultimately want to rank you don't care if your home page ranks or not there's nothing really on there uh, but it, it just gives you a landing page for your home page this here is what you want to rank so what we can do is I can come back up here to say uh, my AREFS account and I can look up some of the stuff so over here here's some questions that I can use uh, I can also go back to Google and scroll at the bottom where it gives me uh, these here where I can look up so what I could do is I could even maybe copy this here and use this as one of them a squat rack um, I could do how to use it I could do discounts so for example we could come up here and I could create another page and I could come over here and click these little three dots and duplicate this page and if I do this let's say I make one and I want to call it the Marcy Olympic um, discount okay click done 
it's going to create this page for us and then what I want to do is I'm going to delete this content because I don't want that to be the same as my other page and then what I would do is I would add more content in here um, about this weight bench or just text about a weight bench and then I would link it back to my main review page so I could come up here to insert text box and then I, I like to use a tool you can you can go online and just copy text if you want to and use for this but I've been using a tool that I really like called article forge so I'm gonna go there and if you guys like this tool there's actually a link below in the description box where you can try it out for free for I think it's like three days or five days uh, just in case you like it so what I'm gonna do for this is in the keyword box I'm gonna enter how to use a weight bench and then for my sub keyword I'm going to use the product name so we'll come over here and we'll just type in for sub keyword we'll do Marcy Olympic weight bench and just use that and what it's going to do now is it's going to create an article based about how to use a weight bench and then it's going to insert this um, this sub keyword within the article which is really neat so we'll go down here I'll choose 500 words create a new article and I'm gonna pause the video and give this a couple minutes to finish okay it just finished I'm gonna click here to see the result and here it is so we can read through here um, weight benches like everything else these days have changed dramatically there was a time when you had an enormous and heavy piece of equipment okay okay this all looks really good so all I have to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy all this content so we're going to go up here and click on copy go back here and we'll go in here paste plain text I don't see where it entered the sub keyword in this article I don't know maybe it confused it just because of the different words I had in it and the numbers so what I would do is just go ahead and manually edit what it has here throw that keyword in there also mention discounts a few times and at the end of it what I would do is check out the full review here and then I would highlight this text click link and then I would choose this page and apply and then what that's going to do is link back to the review page and then we're going to click publish and publish again and so now this part is done so now if we visit our website it's going to be three pages okay click home and now we have our review page which is right here and then we have our discount page which is right here and the thing is you don't have to show these pages here in your menu if I go back I can actually go up here um, to pages and on this page here the discount page I can hide from navigation just like that now what I can also do is I can create sub pages underneath any one of these so if, the, if I if for some reason I want to create sub pages under this review page right here I could come over here click these three dots add a sub page and add several and then when you hover over top this there would be a drop down menu with sub pages like you see on most websites but this is how you can create an affiliate website for free using Google Sites. It's super easy to do, guys, but just keep in mind, and I, I can't stress this enough, the more pages you build out like this here, like I've done with this one, uh, the better results you're going to get. So what you can do is you can find related topics to this that people are searching for around weight benches, around this brand, create additional pages for that, and then have them all linking back to your main review page right here and then what that's going to do is really help with your internal linking uh, it's going to help to Google to better understand what the entire sites about and what the main page is that you want ranked on there so really that's all there is to it and once you're done just come up here click on publish it's going to go live and then when you come up here you're going to have your published link so whatever page you're on this is the link it's going to give you okay so right now I'm on my review page and I click link so it's giving me the page here for this specific page if I go to the home page click on link it's just going to give me the link for that 
specific page that I'm on. Now if you wanted to, when you get your website done, you can come back here to your home page and you could come over here and you can add more stuff to it. So for example, I could come over here and I could click uh, say this here. And what I could do is say uh, for this one, I could do uh, full review and then here I could do discount. Then I could add two images here. So I could do an image. I've already uploaded a few. Let's just go ahead and click upload and let's do this and then for this one do the second one just upload whatever two images you want you can do full review on bench grab the discount and then you can add some text under here if you want to just to add more content to your home page and then what you would do is just link this to your review page and then link this one to the discount page and publish it. That way you have more content on your home page if you just want more content on there. If you don't, it's no big deal. You don't have to. But really that's how easy it is to create an affiliate site using Google Sites. It's free. It's it looks really professional and you don't have to worry about web hosting. You don't have to worry about maintaining plugins, buying plugins. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're not going to be able to have as many features or options as you do with WordPress. So if you're looking for something based around WordPress, once again, I'm going to highly suggest you, you get my free course on WP Affiliate Suite, which is all about building WordPress websites for affiliate marketing. That link will be below this video. I include a free custom WordPress uh, theme you can even use for it. But if you're not into that and if you don't want to deal with it, just use Google Sites. That's at sites.google.com. Now, once you're done here, I do want to mention and also show you how to add analytics so you can track uh, all of your people who comes to your, all of your site visitor who's come to your site. So what you would do is you would come here to your home page and you would come up here to link and you would grab your link and then what you would do is let me go ahead and close some of these tabs out you would first go to your Google Analytics so once you go to your Google Analytics you're going to create a property you do this under your admin so down here um, if you go to your home page there'll be a link at the bottom that says admin uh, down here at the bottom you just want to click on that and then create property and you're going to give it a name I'm going to uh, do Google Sites and then I'll do Marcy Bench and then select my time zone New York click next I'm going to skip this click create and then here I'm going to choose web you're going to paste in your home page address here and then you're going to remove this HTTPS part because it's already listed here then you're going to give it a name Google Sites Marcy Bench and click create stream now when you do this it's going to give you this code here and you want to copy this code you want to go back go to your settings go to analytics and you want to paste it in here and that enables analytics so now any visitors you get to your Google site on any of the pages it's going to track and show you within your Google Analytics but to take it a step further we can also add it to our Google search console so to do that what we're going to do is come up and make sure we're logged into our Google search console you're going to go over here to the URL prefix you're going to paste in your URL which I may not be able to do this because my analytics is logged in under one account and my Google search console is logged in under a different account so let me let me change this here okay so let me go ahead and paste this prefix or my URL in here you want to paste the whole site URL in here and click continue and as long as you're logged in to your same account that you're logged into with your Google Analytics, it's going to connect that and see that you are the owner of it. And you can see here it automatically verified my ownership. So I can go to the property 
and I can see here now that it is added into my list of websites and I can monitor and watch my performance and coverage and everything here. So that's how you do it. That's how you create the site. That's how you add analytics to it. And then uh, from here, you can just keep building your site out. You can make it into just one product. You can add multiple products. However you want to do it, the more content you have on your site, the better it's going to rank and the faster it's going to rank. So keep that in mind. Other than that, guys, that's it for this video. That's how easy it is to create a free um, website for affiliate marketing. If you like these types of videos, like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that bell, and I'll be sure to notify you when I do more videos like this. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.